The Avengers issue 25 sees Robbie's charger destroyed by his celestial possessing Uncle Eli, who says that he was a terrible ghost rider as he smashes Robbie into the ground in front of his own parents. Robbie stops him however, saying that everyone tells him he's the worst ghost rider as if it's some kind of insult, but the riders only bring misery on themselves. He uses his chains to wrap up the Celestial's arm, cutting it off and proclaiming to hell with the spirit of vengeance. He's an Avenger and he's not losing this race. Eli says that he has no car to race with as the Avengers arrive, telling Robbie to get on their boat. Johnny meanwhile keeps on riding through hell, telling himself that he's doing the right thing and he's not Mephisto and not a monster. Suddenly Thor and Blade attack, destroying his bike. Thor pins Johnny down with Mjolnir, but the Ghost Rider slips through the grounds, smashing Thor in the head with his own hammer he made from his own bike, telling Thor that he's been building his own bike since he was 9, so he knows how to swing a hammer. The demons attack Thor and Blade as Johnny says that Valhalla has nothing on Hell. Captain America and Black Panther join in, wondering if this is meant to be a race, and Black Panther says that this is how it goes here in Hell, welcoming Steve to it, but the soldier thinks that this is just a another Tuesday for them. Carol, Robbie and She-Hulk continue their race, and Robbie learns that the ship they are on is an Asgardian flying ship powered by a vibranium core engine with Stark Tech rockets. He can't believe the Avengers are there for him, and Carol says that they would race through hell for one another. Carol calls for Jen to give them a boost, so using her Gamma Bomb power, She-Hulk boosts the ship's speed. Johnny sees that they are getting away, as Cosmic Ghost Rider reveals that he's ripped the head off the Celestial, introducing himself to Johnny, who says that the only thing Frank is good at is getting his family murdered. Johnny sends his flying demons after the Avengers, wanting them to be slowed down as Carol and Jennifer fight the demons. Robbie takes control of the ship's wheel, knowing this isn't just any race, it's the challenge of the Ghost Riders, and so he's gotta win like a Ghost Rider. Covering the ship with his flames, he races it through the sky, catching Johnny and smashing into the throne of hell. Johnny demands to know what Robbie has done as the hero hits him, saying that he just won the race by showing him that a Ghost Rider doesn't have to be alone and it's family that keeps them sane. He offers his hand to Johnny, knowing that the man could use some family right now, but Johnny says that he's not ready to rule hell. Robbie agrees, which is why he doesn't want the throne. T'Challa says Johnny shouldn't have it either, and want to help him find another one suitable. Johnny says that since he doesn't have the throne, Robbie and the others are just going to leave him in hell with the legions of the damned who he was humiliated in front of, meaning they're out for his blood. Johnny says that he's more crueler than his uncle as Frank arrives, saying it's time for Johnny to die for what he said about Frank's family. Johnny, however, escapes, pulled into the ground by the demons. Later, Thor reveals that he found the Hell Charger while searching for Johnny. T'Challa wants to confirm that the demon is gone from the car and after that, it will be up to Robbie to learn if his race is truly over. Robbie meanwhile meets with his parents, who tell him to never change since he risked his own life for his little brother. Hugging his parents, they are taken away by the other Ghost Riders. Robbie returns to the surface world, picking up Gabe and heading out into the desert, telling his brother that they are just going to go for a ride. Gabe thought that he was going to quit his job, but Robbie says that he might just have started fitting in and the best part about his job is that he can go fast anytime he wants. As the two speed off, Frank leaves Earth, heading out to continue his kill spree in the galaxy, glad to be off Earth and away from the smell of Mephisto. Iron Man meanwhile journeys into the cave he and the others found. His scan's inconclusive, but he wants to know why he's holding his own head from a million years in the past. Suddenly, the fossilized helmet begins glowing, saying Mephisto's name as it blasts Tony back in time. Tony's journal entry reveals that he survived in the cave, away from the super winter outside, but soon his armor died and it became useless. He notes it's a blood moon, which means that the devil will be coming by and he thinks he can't defeat him this time, despite being the smartest man in 1 million BC. The Avengers issue 25 finished up the rather cool challenge of the Ghost Rider storyline as Robbie is freed from his demons and learns to become the Ghost Rider on his own terms. The action in hell was loads of fun and the Avengers coming to help 
one of their own was really cool, especially since they used a supercharged Viking longboat, which is just so cool. The cliffhanger at the end with Tony going back in time is really interesting, and I'm looking forward to finally the 1 million BC Avengers team meeting a modern Avengers hero and possibly the other modern Avengers. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.